Hello again and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. We just made our way through the first part of Undead Crypt. We just defeated Agdane, some sort of Crypt Keeper, apparently, and uh, he was very upset because we dared light up his place. But I think uh, in this case I should rather drop my light and fight these guys with a shield. They might even be a little bit harder than the ones in uh, Rang Lake Castle, I think. With more hit points and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, we've been through part of this uh, area already. Because I wanted to explore it as a shade. Helping somebody else in co-op, which I did. I think two episodes ago. Which is sometimes a good place to start. Saiyan armor. Oh, and here we go again, just as I was explaining that. I laid down my uh, soul sign last time. So here I am. In the world of Sleepless. Pretty cool name. Let me see here um, what my katana can do. It's also a good place to uh, test out weapons on different enemies. Oh, they're way ahead. <laughs> Summon some somebody else. Alicia something? Alicia Reloon. That's an RPG character name if I ever heard one. <laughs> Okay, apparently Sleepless decided not to bring light. Hey, and there's Argain, and he looks like he's a ghost this time around. Maybe he just comes up alive if you don't aggro him. Hmm. And he's an NPC if you don't. So now we know both endings, <laughs> somehow. Pretty nice getup you got there, Sleepless. Rocking the dreadlocks. And these guys don't even get aggroed if you choose not to follow my path. Well, now we know. So, what do we do now? Keep going. Okay. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I didn't see the hose come come close to me and, and, and overtake me. It's kind of strange. Oh, okay then. They don't even fight back if you don't have the light of the torch with you. Interestingly enough, and. This katana is useless, it seems. Kind of strange. So, what now? Maybe now I can learn something from... Oh! Okay, apparently you can go down there. I was wondering, wondering about that. Because I think one of the tooltips said something like, Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> Need a different weapon. Um, one of the tooltips said something like below. Not even... Wow. 
a backstab with that weapon is still less than a normal strike from any other weapon I have. That's insane. Okay, I need to, uh, need to, uh, watch that area and see what's down there. Are you coming? Okay, so somewhere around here should be the uh, should be this NPC invader. Oh, here's a bonfire. Good to know. Thanks. All right. Hmm. The other items I picked up in my previous co-op um, co-op experience here, uh, I also got life gems from beating the beating the enemies. So I'm wondering, do co-op helpers only ever get life gems, or? What is that? Okay, um... Shit! There's the invader! Oh! Damn it! Yeah, looks like I always get nothing but life gems. And uh, sorry, sleepless. I cannot heal right now, and and my health is so low. I wouldn't be any help with you in battle anyway. See, no way. It's because of the invader. Uh, help us apparently can't heal, which I guess is a good thing. And you didn't even need my help, anyway. <laughs> ah. Oh. Some more of these dudes. Overwhelming. Okay, and uh, let's keep right on. We went all the way through here already once. Oops. <laughs> I still think the concept of um, kind of um, Masking yourself as a wall with two giant shields is pretty cool. Now that they are dealt with, let's continue on. Down the pit. This place is still kind of a mystery to me. I haven't really um, done much here. Oh no. Fuck. I got killed right away in the first time. Damn it. Oh damn. I'm out of Estus. Shit. Ah. Damn! 
sorry man. Um, that was kind of my bad, I guess. I followed you into a dead end and uh, blocked your path out, so... Sorry. <laughs> uh, and here we're not even that far away from that area. So... What's this? Treasure ahead and then below. Yeah, I think I'm gonna um, look for that later. So... I kind of ran through this area. Um, never quite figured out how it works around here. Because right now these guys haven't spawned yet. Normally in any other... Oh, there's the... There's the bonfire. Very important. No, any other uh, part of the game, usually when you walk into an area, the enemy's already there. And if there's spawning involved, normally there are certain rules to that. The way uh, enemies spawn and stuff. Let's see if we can shed some light onto this. There we go. Ah, yeah, okay. So they spawn from these uh, tombstones? Oops, no! Wow. Wow. Shields are mandatory. <laughs> There's no way around that. Oh, Psst. oh, wait. Sleepless, so she's returning the favor, I guess. Okay. So. This is the way I came in. It's really f confusing without a light. And these uh, smaller tombstones uh, respawn as well. <coughs> Titanite chunk and a petrified dragon bone. Okay. Hello there. <laughs> right. What the? I just read dried fingers, bonfire, scatic, and something else, and didn't give me time. Stupid hollow. Can I get your jump on you? Well, oh, sort of. Media Black Hood. Oh! Hey there! Damn! So much damage! Ridiculous. And they stun lock you too. Don't wanna summon anybody? Thank you. need to figure out a way how to deal with you. Lady White Robe.
Probably Lady Pyromancer. Lady Apostles, in their conceit, occupied the undead crypt and misused death. This invoked the ire of Finito, who branded them as transgressors. Hmm. Okay. And the Lady of Black Hoods. One by Lady of Witches, Apostles Worship Galib, God of Disease. Resided in the undead crypt beside Finito. Who's Finito? We've read about this um, in a different clothing item. And here we have the dried fingers as well. With multiple knuckles, shrilled but radiating a peculiar warmth. By the number of knuckles, it couldn't have been human, but some questions are best left unanswered. Well, you might be right about that, whoever wrote that description. That's some of the stuff in Dark Souls that never is actually uh, addressed. How do I even see what the description is for all these items? Oh yeah, I have also the Heavy, heavy Iron Key now, which unlocks the uh, second DLC. Past the altar deep within the iron keep and through a door is a tower that the old iron king used to produce iron. Yeah, who writes all this? <laughs> and how am I able to uh, to read it, you know? Oh well. Still don't know how this works. I guess it stands to reason that they keep respawning. Indefinitely. At least that's what I'm getting from all this. But there must be some... Some reason they start res start spawning and there we go. I guess you've... Either it's on a clock or... Uh, it depends on how close you are to the, these huge tombstones. One or the other, or a combination of both. These guys are so hard. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Almost bit the bullet again. Okay, I've been here. Then this ladder leads to the sorceress. Mm. Bad stamina management. Okay, so. Bracing knuckle ring plus two. Wow. This is hard. This is really hard. This is endgame hard and it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Haha, <laughs> you can't hit me.
Okay, next item. Soul of the Lost Undead. Okay. And here I should be invaded. Divine Blessing, Soul of a Hero. Here we go. Oh shit. I forgot to deal with these uh... <laughs> I'm in the menu! God damn it! Ah! I forgot to deal with the ghosts and the wall first. Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot I was carrying a torch! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Mm. Yeah, this is the guy I already fought in Grand Lake Castle. It's not been... well, at least it's the same name. It might be a different nameless usurper. But he... He had the same kind of weapons and his AI was pretty much the same. Okay, got you. Forgot about um, equipping this. I spent some of my uh, levels here because um, the thing is, right now I'm at a character level where all my important stats are already filled up um, to the point where every additional stat point is uh, giving... Ah, uh, That's nasty, dude. Stop that. Um, every additional point is... Evelyn! Awesome! <laughs> Sorry. That's a pretty awesome item. Look at that. An extremely rare rapid fire crossbow. Fire three successive bolts inflicting de heavy damage by making all three shots count. Fiorenza, the richest merchant in all of Volgan, recreated this lost weapon after reading of it in an old book. Well, as good of a justification as any, the Avalon was a very, um, um, very popular weapon in PvP in Dark Souls 1. I never found it myself there, but um, I saw videos. Lots and lots of videos. There you are. Hmm. Damn. The lock on pretty much screwed me there. So, how do I bait you out? Oh, there you are. Are you coming? Guess you just stand there. Uh oh! No, you don't. No backstab possible, I guess. Yeah. You're faster than you look, but you're still pretty slow. <laughs> Imperious gloves. Oh, there you are. Gloves worn by the once proud knights. Relics of a party who long ago attempted to conquer the undead crypt. For this act of conceit, they will never rest in peace and instead serve as guardians. Alright.
I guess, um, in character, that's what happened to me as well. If I hadn't been able to, um, kill Agdane. Yeah, there's no backstabbing you. Hmm. Nice follow up. <laughs> this is a pretty sweet combination of moves. Some more gloves. And now, <clears throat> we should be, uh, should be ready for this pit here. Don't give up, skeleton, indeed. Okay. So, on with bone. Very appropriate. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Fuck. I'm doing the same mistake again as last time <laughs> and get obliterated. <laughs> okay, next time we're gonna learn this place and how to beat it. Stay tuned.